In the world of professional golf, there exists an elite club. A club filled with legends, household names, and rising stars. A club where membership is earned yearly with time, sweat, and dedication. This week, 50 players will gain entry into this exclusive fellowship. The top 25 from the regular season have already secured their spots. And another 25 spots are up for grabs here this week. Some dreams will be realized. Others will have to wait another day. Who will be next to join the likes of Jason Dufton, Brand Snedeker, and Keegan Bradley as the next great Web.com Tour graduate? EA Sports and the Web.com Tour proudly present opening round coverage of the Web.com Tour Championship. And let's go down to the first. Frank, you've been there so many times, really nothing like the first tee of a brand new championship. Uh, the thought of the unknown, the beauty of sport, you and the golf course. Doesn't get any better, Rich. Well, this looks good. Certainly is. Frank, over the course of the last 15 years or so, there have been a number of initiatives within the game of golf just to try to grow the sport. Yeah, we've seen the PGA Junior League, which is a series of competitions, obviously, for juniors to play. But the first tee really is worldwide now, just to try and introduce um, players from all over the world into the game of golf. They're introduced with club professionals. They learn skills that are essential, really, to play the game of golf. But uh, in 2014 was a real step, what I think, in the right direction to, to showcase the junior talent around the world with the drive, chip, and putt. Where you actually get a chance to play the drive, chip, and putt final at Augusta National, the home of the Masters. Imagine young kids, boys and girls, 8 years old, 11 years old, being able to go home and tell their friends, tell their families, Hey, I have something in common with Jack Nicklaus, with Arnold Palmer, with Phil Mickelson, with Tiger Woods. I won at Augusta National Golf Club. Well, that's got to be 300 yards, isn't it? And now the second shot here at this par five. Third shot coming up at this par five. Still a good chance to make birdie. Yeah, just make sure you have the right number and the right club. <laughs> Leaves that one about 20 feet out from the cup. Nicely played shot. Frank, this would be a nice way to jumpstart the round. Yeah, his momentum uh, can quickly go in the right direction if he makes this. Looks primed right now. Anything other than backing up. Very aggressive. That birdie, now in second. Now the par three third. Not overly long, but two is a rarity here. Difficult green, and uh, you don't see a lot of tee shots actually finish close here for some unknown reason. This one has a chance to be close. He's making the game look very simple right now. See it? Hit it, and he's got it right on track. 
Getting set now over the putt. Nice birdie, and no doubt he's feeling pretty good about his position on this leaderboard. A series of good holes in a row has got him to this point. And now back over to the fourth. Frank, I've been impressed with the play to this point early in the round. Yeah, it's solid uh, without being spectacular. And that's actually a huge compliment. He has given this one the full treatment. Perfect release through the ball. And this shot he is on the fairway over 300 yards. Good swing. Good shot yet again. And it makes the green in regulation. Shouldn't be a problem here. Now comfortably inside that cut line, the former national champ makes birdie. Fifth hole, good par four, isn't it, Frank? If ever a hole was built for Lee Trevino, who used to love to cut it, this would be the hole that just looks and screams for a shot that's hit left to right. And that's the only way, really, to avoid bunkers left and long and that one that's all the way down the right side. Great Bobby Jones used to say the hardest shot in golf's the next one. Judging by that light, it's not going to be too hard. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is a green light special. Good chance now for a birdie. That was an outstanding play. Well, it's almost a guarantee there after that shot. Starting to pile up the birdies. Five under par for the tournament. Frank, you don't want to get too cute with that second shot here at the sixth. I remember many a time, Rich, when they put the flag right of center. You try and hit a little bit too close, those palm trees all of a sudden come into play. Hits one of those, that ball can go anywhere. It's a good spot right there. Center cut. Oh, that's it. New member of the 300-yard club. Good poke right there. Frank, the players out here today really have the opportunity of a lifetime chance to earn a PGA Tour card at the end of this tournament. And that life-changing opportunity is certainly going to be on the line. All of these great golfers have put in the time uh, to get where they are right now, and they're just one step away. That's right, one step away, maybe this week, of earning a tour card and getting ready for the putt. Oh, another one goes in. Frank, seventh hole here at TPC Sawgrass. How do you break this one down? Not overly long, 440 yards, but uh, once again, it's a tee shot. If you're driving the ball well, that's fine. You just sort of blister it down there, but you're starting to lose one a little bit to the right. There's three pot bunkers there, and of course, if you're fearful of it going left, there's the canal all the way down the left side that'll get your attention. Strategically, Frank, how do you like to play this hole? You've got to be aware of where you don't want to go. That front right bunker is probably the uh, easiest bunker shot on this hole, but there's a little pot bunker on the left. That one there, always difficult to get it up and down. This one looks right on point. We just saw a player in total control of what he's doing. Didn't miss a green in regulation all day long. Well, there's an opportunity wasted. Just knocking him for a par, and let's forget about this one. Golf is not about perfect, but it's going to hurt the course. Just an amazing display. The records continue to fall. 
TPC Sawgrass, the fabled stadium course designed by the legendary Pete Dye. Rich Lerner alongside Frank Novello. And here at the eighth, Frank, most players are happy walking out of here with a par three. And the reason why, it's a very narrow entry to this green. It's just littered with bunkers around, left, behind, to the side, and even short. Uh, once you get further up the green, though, even though this is an undulating green, it starts to widen up. So don't get trapped into just looking at the front of this hole. Chance for birdie after that beautiful shot. And it's a long way to the hole from here. Never easy. You've got to be kidding me. That was right on the edge. I tell you, he wants to do over there. Just to tap in to finish the hole. So stays at six under with that solid par putt. Frank, now at the ninth, this really is one of my favorite par fives in the entire sport. And uh, I certainly enjoy watching people play it today, Rich. Uh, it used to be unreachable, but the longer hit is now. Uh, we're starting to see them go for this par five regularly in two. And the reason why they start to hit the drive more down the right now than what they used to. People used to try and go down the left side. The right side, it hugs the water, but you get a better view of the second shot. Playing his second shot here at the par five. Headed for the bunker, I think. And it looks like it's in the rough there, Frank. It might not be as bad as it looks. Just trying to make clean contact from the rough. It's surprising, misses the green in regulation here at the par five. Yeah, you'd think this is one of the easier holes on the golf course. Um, so now just trying to avoid six. Get down, lay down. Getting set for this next shot from the rough. What does the player need to be careful of here, Frank? Well, this is where we're going to see exactly how good they are because, you know, that's not exactly the best lie, but it's sort of doable if you, if you know what you're doing. Pretty good shot right there. Standing over this putt, concentrating on the read. That's a bogey, but still in the lead. We, we start to see shots in hand really valuable. Well, that was a nearly flawless performance on the front side, but, Frank, we know it's an 18-hole game, isn't it? That's right. Now's not the time to pat yourself on the back. He makes a great pass at the golf ball. It's powerful, but it's rhythmic at the same time. Oh, that's got to be 300 yards, isn't it? Second shot now at the 10th, and again, Frank, accuracy is at a premium. Yeah, gone are the days uh, to sort of thrash it out of the trees like Phil Mickelson. Ideally, coming out of that fairway, you're hitting to a green that moves to the right. So that makes it uh, a little bit more difficult than what uh, the mind's eye first sees. Terrific golf shot. And now, that for an easy birdie. And this will be a five-foot putt here. This is a pretty good performance right here. Six under for the tournament. Now to the 11th, par five. Good tee shot, and then you certainly think about hitting a hybrid or a lofted fairway wood into this green that's really narrow, one of the narrowest on the golf course. There's a little pot bunker left of this green when you go for two that often swallows up that second shot if it's a little bit too conservative. But um, there's a lake there. Seen more than one ball splash in the pond over the years. Nothing wrong with that one. How about 300 yards and in the fairway?
Frank, this is a position where a player is absolutely licking his chops here. Good chance to make a birdie. Yeah, this is when this game just looks like fun. Bunkers don't seem to be in play. The only thing you're really looking at right now is just the flag. There's a big green, and they're going to use every inch of it. Oh, what an incredible shot. Hole number 11, 558 yard, par five. Frank, players in attack mode here. Yeah, just try and blitz it down there. There are other bunkers on the left to consider, but really, with that much fairway, this is a green light opportunity. Frank couldn't ask for anything more. Uh, just the lie there, too. It is sitting up like it's teed up. Now the approach to the 12th, Frank. What's the player looking at? Well, it's a fun shot here for the second shot, especially if you've driven it down the right side, because then you can see the flag no matter where it is on the green. That is classy. Yeah, they have a chance of going in. Just needs to keep it steady here over the putt. That had to really hurt, Frank, because it looked good all the way. Well, this will test his metal. Clean this up with a tap. Never a bad score on the card. That's par. And, Frank, we always like when they have the whole location back left, and that ball trickles down, feeds, and you can see some really good ones and maybe even an ace here. Yeah, just like Mickelson a few years ago. Down there, it, it looked like it was going to flirt with a bunker, ran up and over the over the ridge, and in it goes. This is one where you have to play ground ball as well as high ball. What a shot. Perfectly placed right next to the hole. Really hitting on all cylinders now. Nine under for the tournament. Frank Tiger certainly had his adventures here at 14. Well, we'll never forget that. Spun it left. Uh, in the end, was very, very lucky to get away with six. Uh, had it been seven, Garcia might have just caught him at the post. But he will, and we will, never forget 14. Now that is a really good tee shot right there, Frank. I think that tipped the 300-yard mark. Now, green is cleared. Uh, have a good look at it there. Looking at a standout, former standout that is in college and about to be perhaps a new star on the PGA Tour next year. Appears to be a smart shot, Frank. Yeah, no problem here. That's going to fly all the way. That's good stuff right there. Wonderful approach. And now a really good look at Birdie. Now this young college star, Birdie Putt coming up chance to gain a stroke over the field and graduate to the PGA Tour. Now minus 10 for the round. Frank, the 15th hole certainly has the respect of the professionals. But you're right, this is a positional hole where uh, just keep the ball down the left center you can't go too far, though, because you'll get blocked out or you'll run out of fairway. From there, it's really about knowing where the flag is, what position on the screen, because this is another green that's not flat. If the second shot lands on the wrong portion of the green, it'll finish well away from the hole. Frank, once again, precision is so important as we look at the second shot to the 15th. Yeah, you're looking at the flag here. You're looking at birdie. But if you miss, the big bunker on the left will swallow it up, and there's two little pop bunkers on the right. Tough to get it up and down. Uh, this looks like it's going to find the target. Beautiful shot. That is tight. Unbelievable. That is one to savor for the rest of the round. Just a couple of feet. 11 under on the deck. And if you're a couple of shots behind on Sunday, that final round, you're thinking about three, and that's possible, isn't it? Well, history's shown it, it has, Rich. <laughs> the 
He'll be happy with that. In the fairway, now a good chance to attack this hole. Okay, the second shot now at this par five. This one doesn't look good. There's water over there. Just averted danger right there. So close. Why does he have all the luck? Settles in over the putt. Wow, I thought he made that. Oh my goodness, he just missed that. And that was almost tap-in distance. Just a tap-in to finish the hole. Racking them and stacking them. That's 12 under par now for the tournament. Frank, how early in the round are you thinking about the shot at 17? Well, when you're playing well, you're pushing it ahead. Maybe you don't think about it till 14 or 15. If you're struggling, you might be thinking it early as the fifth or the sixth hole. But put it this way, when you make the walk from 16 to 17, you are thinking of it every inch of the way. I mean, that's how the game is played, right there. Uh, he's just making it look so easy. That birdie coming up, formality. Second shot. Just an amazing display. The records continue to fall. People always talk about 17 being visually intimidating. Frank, what about 18? If there's a little bit of wind off the right, the tee shot is so much easier. But if that wind is coming off the, the water, not only do you see the water and the wooden bulkheads, you see all the rough and the trees on the right. And of course, then you start bringing five, six, seven, even eight into play. That's what makes this tee shot so hard. He has given this one the full treatment. Perfect release through the ball. And this shot he is on the fairway, over 300 yards. This is looking really good. Wow, Frank, he is dialed in. Yeah, that was just some shot on that. Easy birdie. Just five feet left. Oh, man. I just pushed it. Boy, that hurts. keep the round going, those par putts. Frank, you surprised to see that name on top of the leaderboard? I, I am surprised to see the name, but not that style of golf leading. Uh, it was great performance, especially tee to green. Um, you don't often see people start that quickly. EA Sports and the Web.com Tour proudly present second round coverage of the Web.com Tour Championship. Excellent looking shot here. Long and straight. That's how you do it. Just an ideal lie, Frank. What can he do from here? Well, if he takes advantage of the tee shot now and goes at this flag, then he'll certainly gain on the field.
another good swing, and it looks like, Frank, another really good shot. What a display of shot making this has been, Frank. Oh, the incredible approach shot there. The easiest of birdies coming up. And a great start. Frank, what do you make of the par five second? Dog legs to the left, so there's a decision to be made here all the time, but a good hooking tee shot. That takes the trees on the left out of play, and even the rough on the right. Good tee shot here. I've seen people get home with uh, as little as five on. Well, those are good numbers right there. 3-2-0. 320 yards. Just crushed it in the fairway. Looks like he's going to have a go at it here at the par five. His second shot. And a chance for Eagle after that perfectly played shot. Been pretty good all day from this distance, just trying to take care of business. So Frank, what do you think of the start so far? Rock solid, and very impressed. Now the part three third. Not overly long, but two is a rarity here. Difficult green, and uh, you don't see a lot of tee shots actually finish close here for some unknown reason. hole really sets up well for the player. Birdie yesterday, and a chance for another one today. Birdie here yesterday. This putt again for Birdie. Can't birdie them all, Rich. Really, Rich, right now it's just a case of running out of holes. Pars are fine. So much focus here, Frank, on 16, 17, and 18. Number four is a hole that gets overlooked, but it's a fun one. Yeah, the second shot here is more dawning, especially when that flag's on the, on the left. So you really do start looking at that blue stuff, uh, water. Good contact, good result. Web.com Tour Championship, fourth and final stop of the Web.com Tour Finals, and this is a chance to pinpoint some of the stars of tomorrow. Guys like Tony Finau, and then there's Adam Hadwin from Canada, and there are a few others, Frank, that I know you're really impressed with. Well, this is really where the talent's coming from, Rich. Um, over 400 wins on the PGA Tour have come from people that have graduated from the uh, Web.com series, and, and really what we're seeing now is people from all sorts of different countries as well. And uh, what I'm surprised about is the youth of these players. A lot of these players aren't even 21 years of age. They could still be in college, but they are so close to actually, they're on the precipice of joining golf's greatest stage. And I know you're talking about a player like Justin Thomas, who comes out of Alabama, or maybe Carlos Ortiz of Mexico. These guys can really go. Nothing to argue about there, right in the fairway. Frank, as players get set for the second shot here at the fifth, what are they thinking? You have to be precise with the second shot. You miss it long and left. D very, very difficult uh, chip there. And of course, short and right. And amongst those moguls in the bunker, it's tough to get it up and down. Seems to like it. Looks like it's headed for the green. Terrific golf shot. And now that for an easy birdie. Continues to amaze yet another birdie. And what a day it's been. Frank, this isn't a hole that sort of 
jumps out at you the way, say, 17 does. Yeah, a lot of times people will just sort of gloss over it, but anytime you get a par four into 400 yards, it's a great opportunity. But once again, a positional hole. Take advantage of it. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is a green light special. Flag stick from that man. Birdie here yesterday, trying to do it again today. And he has it for Birdie. Frank, what do you think of the seventh? Interesting par four um, for two reasons. The undulating green on the end of the hole that also shapes to the right that makes it look like a dog leg right. But really, you want to play that tee shot just inside those pot bunkers down the right side. Oh, this looks good. It certainly is. Frank, we're really watching the next generation of PGA Tour stars, aren't we? Yeah, this player in particular, Rich, uh, amateur pedigree, already a winner of the NCAAs, and I've always thought that success early on is a, a predictor, really, of talent long term, and um, this player has all the tools. Generate some momentum here at the seventh hole. This for birdie. Locked in on the read and the speed. He's made it. Frank, this is a hole that I really like. The eighth, 237 yard par three, just a necklace of bunkers surrounding the green. What's the best approach? You come out through that chute or that hallway of trees there, and this being the longest of the four par threes at TPC Sawgrass, the green actually plays much smaller than what it looks because of that narrow entry. That's well played. And now a good look at birdie. So the dominant performance continues. Yeah, we're watching two tournaments right now, the one at the top and the rest. Frank, the ninth is really a good par five, isn't it? There's so many options here. Um, just play it away, sort of three wood it down there, then go to the right and sort of wedge it on the green. But uh, it's very tempting, especially in the right wind conditions. And that's if they're coming over your shoulder for a right hander from right to left. Then this par five is very reachable. That one is in the fairway, down there about 290 yards. And from the fairway for his second shot here. Frank, this is a position where a player is absolutely licking his chops here. Good chance to make a birdie. Yeah, this is when this game just looks like fun. Bunkers don't seem to be in play. The only thing you're really looking at right now is just the flag. Well, there's a big green, and they're going to use every inch of it. A sensational shot right there, Frank. Oh, you start beating your chest after a shot like that. That's the best we've seen into this hole today. Oh, yeah, he's made it for a birdie. Well, that was a nearly flawless performance on the front side, but Frank, we know it's an 18-hole game, isn't it? That's right. Now's not the time to pat yourself on the back. Frank, did you hear the sound of that coming off the club face? It was like a cannon. That's a good spot right there. Send a cut. 
Looks to be a good setup going into the green here at the 10. Well, Frank, the wind is really starting to pick up. You've got to fix that on the direction now. If you get the, the direction wrong and uh, or mistime one of those gusts, all sorts of problems. That's an outstanding shot right there, and it sets up a really good look at birdie. Didn't fare too well on this hole yesterday. Made a bogey. Good putt. Now the time to be aggressive. Par five, 558 yard, 11th hole, Frank. What's the key here? Tee it high and let it fly. This is the big chance here. This is one of the widest fairways on the golf course. This is where you chance it all. Frank, this is a way to make golf easy when you can hit it that deep. Oh, I'm going to say, I know that first number's a three. I'm guessing the second one's a two. Let's call it 320. <laughs> that was a big, bold strike, and now a chance for a big, bold move. Putt for Eagle coming up. Might be. Could be. Oh, he's going to love it. Great putt. Frank, what's so much fun about TPC Sawgrass is the excitement that it generates for a fan and how many different holes there are. 12 is a good example. Yeah, 12 looks like it's fresh from Scotland. You can see why Pete Dye spent a lot of time over there. Um, tee shot looks straight away, but the second shot is blind. The, the shot you'd get in Scotland with the wedge where you just see the top of the flagstick and you've got to really guesstimate on the yardage that you have. But a good wedge shot and someone that can judge their distance, this is certainly a birdie hole. This one looks like it's headed right for the middle of the dance floor, Frank. A rather nice shot, Lisa. That was a solid strike and a good result. And getting ready for the putt. Once considered the best player at the college level, our featured golfer makes birdie sitting comfortably inside the cut line. Frank, so much focus on the back nine here at the stadium course at TPC Sawgrass on the 17th hole with the island green. I think 13 gets lost sometimes, but the pros know this is a really good hole. Oh, it can be disastrous too. That's, I think, what you're referring to, Rich. There's a big ridge in the middle of the screen that bisects the top side with the bottom side on the left. So even when the flag's on the left, you don't have to go directly at it because that normally causes the problem with the uh, wooden bulkheads down the left side and obviously the water left of that. So something on the ridge can often run down towards the left. But we have seen the odd hole-in-one here over the years. Good, clean contact and a nice result and a chance for birdie coming up. Well, that's how you keep around going, make putts just like that. Frank 14 is so often a pivotal hole here at the TPC Sawgrass. It is, Rich, and when you see a player hit two shots comfortably on the screen, you think, what's all the problems about 14? But when you see someone stray left or stray right, you realize that 14 is a real bear. Good tee shot right in the fairway and plenty long. Frank challenging approach shot here at the 14th. Yeah, there's some subtle mounds in this green. Uh, one that comes in on the right, and then another one that starts to come in about two thirds of the way down on that left side. Appears to be a smart shot, Frank. Yeah, no problem here. That's gonna fly all the way. Wow, Frank, he is dialed in. Yeah, that was just some shot on there. Easy birdie will make birdie if this drops.
just an amazing display. The records continue to fall. Back to the TPC Sawgrass, the 15th hole. It's a par four as we make our way to this finishing stretch. And Frank, what's in store for the players here? Another one of those par fours around 450 yards. Uh, ideally hit it tee shot down the right side, keeping away from that bunker. But that's a flat bunker down the right with no lip, so it's still not too bad. Biggest problem here is that green. So many undulations on this green. Not the longest, but not bad. 295 yards in the fairway. Stuck the follow through right there. This could be really good. Oh, just a superb shot. You're not going to see much better than that all day today. This for another birdie on this hole on the week. Everybody loves him. Birdie on the car. You licking your chops here, Frank, as a player when you get to this tee box? Well, it's an opportunity. A four here certainly <laughs> makes the mood better when you walk to 17 and then 18. So a four here is more than just making a birdie on a par five. He got every bit of that one. Let it all go. A drive of better than 315 yards. Wow. This has really been a good bounce back round. Slow at the start, and now they're picking up some speed. Just a case of a hole suiting the player's eye. Made the birdie yesterday, and he has a good chance to make another one today. Virtually no error in that putting strike. Good putt. Now to maybe the most famous hole in the whole sport. It's the 17th here at the stadium course, the TPC Sawgrass. Frank, if you look at it on the card, it seems so simple. It's just 137 yards for the best in the world. That's a pitching wedge, maybe a nine iron. And yet every year we see nightmares galore. And that's where you have to remind yourself what can and what does happen here. I normally cut the green in half here. It's 26 yards deep. So if you just take 13 yards off the yardage, you have 124 yards to the middle of the green. That has to be your target. This is no time to be a hero. You can still have a putt for derby. Well done. Frank, a couple different ways to watch golf as a fan. You could follow your favorite player for a number of holes, or you can park yourself in one spot I think one of the better ones is the hill behind the 17th at TPC Sawgrass. Yeah, and that's why the reaction of the fans is so different. If you followed that player the whole way around, you've lived and died on every shot he's hit. Meanwhile, if you stuck at a hole, you, know, you want to see some tragedy, you want to see some great shots, and, and consequently you get that divergence of different type of fan. Now his final approach shot of the day just wants to go out in style. One more good swing. Sit down. Get down. Oh, this is this is gone. Just averted danger right there. So close. Why does he have all the luck? He really likes this hole. Made birdie yesterday. Can he do it again today? Continues to amaze yet another birdie. And what a day it's been. So all the scores have been posted for round number two, and look who is on top of the leaderboard, Frank. Yeah, with two very solid rounds of golf. Uh, key right now, just stay out of your own way and keep it up. Uh, the pressure will start to build. We know that as you get closer to the end of this tournament.
EA Sports and the Web.com Tour proudly present third round coverage of the Web.com Tour Championship. What a great shot. Well, this looks good. Certainly is. Frank, the beauty of golf, we're not playing inside a dome with no wind. You have to be able to handle the elements. You do, and that's really where the better player comes through. On a day like today, um, anything around par is going to be a good score. So just adjust your own mental par. Good swing, good shot yet again. Well, that is an exceptional shot on the green and in position for a birdie. Yeah, it's a full melody now. But he's going from back to back birdies here, trying to jump start this round. Some momentum moving in the right direction. And a great stop. How about this second, a par five? Well, if you're brave, you try and flash it down that tree line down the left, but there's a couple of limbs that poke out. Every now and again, they catch an errant tee shot. Oh, that's it. New member of the 300-yard club. Good poke right there. Looks like he's going to have a go at it here at the par five. His second shot. And it makes the green in regulation. I want to check the GPS on a putt this long. be very happy with that one. Yeah, lag part, I mean, really, it's unrealistic to try and make those. So anytime you can uh, two putt from there is a good result. Not a real hard game, is it? Birdie birdie to open. Now the par three third. Not overly long, but two is a rarity here. Difficult green and uh, you don't see a lot of tee shots actually finish close here for some unknown reason. Oh, this is right at it. Excellent shot to within 10 feet. Shouldn't be a problem here, but not a formality either. Rich, that just adds insult to injury to the rest of the field. Another birdie, and the gap even wider. And sensational performance. Frank, how important is positioning off the tee here? Well, we saw a positional tee shot at one and two. This is another one here at four. Good contact, good result. Frank, that ball's sitting up like it's on plush carpeting. Rich, if you and I had lies like that every time, we'd still be playing this game for a living. This one looks like it's headed right for the middle of the dance floor, Frank. Rather nice shot, I would say. Good chance now for a birdie. That was an outstanding play. Well, it's almost a guarantee there after that shot. Ah, oh, you always like that. Count it as a birdie. Now to the fifth. This long par four thought to be one of the most difficult holes on the front side here at the TPC Sawgrass. 
Yeah, if you've got plenty of length in the bag, you can almost take it directly over the bunker on the right. But if you're not as long, you have to air down that left side. Mmm, what a drive. Just tattooed that. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is a green light special. That is classy. What well, a chance of going in. Birdie try again here today. Had a nice birdie on this hole yesterday. Really solid strike. Hole number six. I really like this hole, Frank. It's fun par four. Yeah, very claustrophobic tee shot. Hitting through that chute um, to the fairway. It starts to open up and then it sort of shrinks in again because of all the palm trees around this green. But um, very short par four. So uh, if you're good with a wedge, good chance for free. Not the longest, but not bad. 295 yards in the fairway. We'll settle. Frank, now the second shot here at hole number six. Yeah, not overly long, but be very aware of these palm trees that are short. Many a shots caught those trees coming into this green. This is like cyber vision. Shot after shot, right at the flag. Just dialed in. Really not much to this. The only issue would be a lack of concentration or focus. Simple, solid, and he'll take it. But one that you need to make. Seventh hole here at TPC Sawgrass generally plays into the wind, one of the stadium course's most difficult greens to hit, Frank. It's a really weird tee shot here. You have those three little pot bunkers down the right, and then that bunker that meanders once again all the way down the left side, a bunker that's just slightly right of the canal. Very awkward angle off the tee. Nice long tee shot there and a good lie, Frank. Now the approach to the seventh. Frank, what do you need to be mindful of here? It's rather narrow in the front of this green, and then there's some mounds both right and left. Be very aware of those mounds. They can actually help you out. Get down, look out, it's over. The green. Wow, lucky break right there, Frank. Well, that's what everyone else is gonna say, except him. Just five feet left. <laughs> Makes the putt for a birdie. TPC Sawgrass, the fabled stadium course designed by the legendary Pete Dye. Rich Lerner alongside Frank Navolo. Here at the eighth, Frank, most players are happy walking out of here with a par three. And the reason why, it's a very narrow entry to this green. It's just littered with bunkers around, left, behind, to the side, and even short. Uh, once you get further up the green, though, even though this is sort of an undulating green, it starts to widen up. So don't get trapped into just looking at the front of this hole. Oh, can't hide the flag stick from that man. This for another birdie on this hole on the week. Just an amazing display. The records continue to fall. Frank, the ninth is really a good par five, isn't it? There's so many options here. Um, just play it away, sort of three wood it down there then go to the right and sort of wedge it on the green but uh, it's very tempting especially in the right wind conditions and that's if they're coming over your shoulder for a right hander from right to left then this par five is very reachable that one is in the fairway down there about 290 yards nice position short grass second shot He makes a great pass at the golf ball. It's powerful, but it's rhythmic at the same time. Frank, this is a position where a player is absolutely licking his chops here. Good chance to make a birdie. Yeah, this is when this game just looks like fun. 
Bunkers don't seem to be in play. The only thing you're really looking at right now is just the flag. This is a good looking shot. What an outstanding shot that was. You got the, resu the right result too. Uh, it's just a, a tapping. So just a formality. Huh? He's made it. Getting set now for the back nine here at TPC Sawgrass. Frank, what should we expect? Well, there's a good run of holes. 10, obviously very birdieable. 11th the par 5, 12th the short par 4. A good chance to get this round really going. That's a good spot right there. Center cut. This is just a superb performance. Great round to this point, Frank, and you can really see that reflected in his mood today. Yeah, it just looks too easy. Uh, swinging the club beautifully. Ball's going exactly where he, where he wants it to. He's not trying to take too many risks. So consequently, he's getting birdie opportunity after birdie opportunity. Chance for birdie after that beautiful shot. Standing over this putt, concentrating on the read. And that one drops for a birdie. Hole number 11, 558 yard, par five. Frank, players in attack mode here? Yeah, just try and blitz it down there. There are other bunkers on the left to consider, but really, with that much fairway, this is a green light opportunity. Frank, it makes the game easy when you play it from the fairway. Especially when you play it from a lie like that. Looks like he's going to have a go at it here at the par five, his second shot. Tasty looking right there, Frank. Just a perfect spot in the fairway. That is prime real estate. How do you get a lie like that? Seriously, you could hit any club from there. <laughs> Terrific golf shot. And now that for an easy birdie. Continues to amaze yet another birdie, and what a day it's been. Up now, hole number 12. It's a short one, 358 yard, par four. This can catch you off guard. If you just try and hit the ball on the fairway, if you are in the middle of the fairway, the left side, you will have a blind second shot. So ideally, hit it down that right side of the fairway if you want to see the flag. He has given this one the full treatment. Perfect release through the ball. And this shot he is on the fairway, over 300 yards. Another good swing, and it looks like, Frank, another really good shot. I mean, that's how the... Now to the par 4 12th, and it's a pretty short hole, Frank. Yeah, Pete Dye often doesn't get enough credit for his short par 4s. Uh, this is a great example where one of the features of it is the blind second shot, just to give you a little bit of doubt on judging the distance. shot that is tight unbelievable that is one to save it for the rest of the round birdie here yesterday this putt again for birdie drops it in for birdie frank historically in this great championship 14 has proven to be a pivotal hole everybody focuses on the finish here but you're absolutely right rich this can be an absolute scorecard record because if you spin your drive left, the drop back, 
Perhaps on the ladies' tees, you can make six in a heartbeat. You try and air to the right, you can make six from the mound. So a good drive down, here, down 14 gives you a chance for that fast finish. Frank, challenging approach shot here at the 14th. Yeah, there's some subtle mounds in this green. Uh, one that comes in on the right, and then another one that starts to come in about two-thirds of the way down on that left side. This could be good. This hole really sets up well for the player. Birdie yesterday, and a chance for another one today. This one just requires a little bit of focus. Just pushed it. Boy, that hurts. Has this to save par. Frank, a par here, that's just fun. Frank, the 15th hole certainly has the respect of the professionals. But you're right, this is a positional hole where uh, just keep the ball down the left center. You can't go too far, though, because you'll get blocked out or you'll run out of fairway from there. It's really about knowing where the flag is, what position on the screen, because this is another green that's not flat. If the second shot lands on the wrong portion of the green, it'll finish well away from the hole. Well, that is a really good tee shot right there, Frank. I think that tipped the 300-yard mark. Looked like he caught a flyer right there, Frank. Well, I don't know what he caught, but this is way too much. Playing this par four, still not on the green after that second shot. But still not done. Um, a good third shot, maybe get away here with par. Oh, without a doubt, that will be on the highlight reel later tonight. Excellent shot. Frank, fans watching, they love excitement in the game. 16's an exciting hole, isn't it? Well, that's where you get it, because you hear the roars. You start to see the big crowds that go all the way around 16, 17, and 18 T. You feel where you are in the tournament, too. A movement that starts at 16 can be carried all the way to the clubhouse. Good tee shot right in the fairway and plenty long. This could be a huge momentum swing here, Frank. Yeah, one more good swing, and he's going to have an eagle putt coming up. I know you don't want to get ahead of yourself, but it is well on the cards. Well, look out. This could be wet, Frank. It's heading towards the hazard. Wow, lucky break right there, Frank. Yeah. That's what everyone else is going to say, except him. And it's a long way to the hole from here. Never easy. This one has a good line. This one has a chance, and he has it. Beautiful putt. And if you're a couple of shots behind on Sunday, that final round, you're thinking about three, and that's possible, isn't it? Well, history's shown it it has, Rich. Frank, I think what sets golf apart from other sports is that the fan can get so close to the great athlete as the round is being played. Yeah, well, that's why the sport itself, I and mean, we consider it more intimate for that reason. Most golfers, golf spectators, play the game. 
And whereas other sports, you know, you, you don't see NFL players sitting in the grandstand. You see spectators, but most golf fans are golfers. Oh yeah, he's made it for a birdie. Now to the final hole here at TPC Sawgrass, 462 yard par four. Frank, is this one of the toughest finishing holes in the sport? It is, because the simple reason you've played 17 holes and the job isn't done yet. Good tee shot, good lie, and now a good chance to take advantage here on this hole. Frank, you found dry land, that's the good news, but now you have this second shot, which is very daunting. Yeah, once again, you're looking at water on the left side, so the tendency is to miss it on the right, but that's a very, very difficult up and down. This is another second shot, you just gotta brave it. This one has a chance to be close. Wow, what a shot. What are the chances of making it from there? Now to the 18th hole here at TPC Sawgrass, 462 yard par four, Frank, and another example of visual intimidation from the designer, Pete Dye. Those wooden bulkheads that go all the way down the left side of 18 give you like an optical illusion, Rich. And there's not a single fairway bunker on the right to give you something specifically to aim at. So you've got to fixate on one of those trees. This is not a hole where you want to be looking at anything other than a specific target. EA Sports and the Web.com Tour proudly present final round coverage of the Web.com Tour Championship. Well, this looks good. It certainly is. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is a green light special. Seems to like it. Looks like it's headed for the green. Really in control of this hole. Birdie yesterday and another opportunity on the way. Not a gimme, but well within his range. Great start. Frank, what do you make of the par five second? Dog legs to the left, so there's a decision to be made here all the time, but a good hooking tee shot. That takes the trees on the left out of play and even the rough on the right. Good tee shot here. I've seen people get home with uh, as little as a five on. Oh, that had some meat behind it. Right in the heart of the fairway, green light special. Frank, TPC Sawgrass has been such a great stage for so many great players through the years. I'm thinking about Norman, Couples, Love, Tiger, Phil, Sergio. They've all won here. Well, when Norman shot that incredible score, that really made them change the golf course. It became a little bit more difficult after that, but seeing Fuzzy Zella wave the right white towel after what was probably one of the best driving exhibitions I've ever seen in my lifetime was, uh, was something. And of course, my fellow countryman Craig Perks using just one putt over those last three holes was memorable. So on the putting surface and taking a good look now at this birdie putt here at the second. Well, that's how you keep around going, make putts just like that. Frank, break down the par three third for us. 
The big ridge in the middle of this green, really you have a front section and a back section. Uh, that front bunker, the one that you first see off the tee, that really doesn't come into play, but there's a, there's a sneaky one behind the flag and down the left side. Really good par three. Appears to be a smart shot, Frank. Yeah, no problem here. That's going to fly all the way. Good chance now for a birdie. That was an outstanding play. Well, it's almost a guarantee there after that shot. Trying to make yet another birdie. <laughs> Count it. That's a birdie. Frank, how difficult is it to access the whole location if you miss the fairway here at four? Well, if you miss it left, I've got to say the lesser of two evils is to be in the bunker on the right. But this could be really good, Frank. Oh, straight at it. That is tasty looking right there, Frank. Just a perfect spot in the fairway. That is prime real estate. How do you get a lie like that? Seriously, you could hit any club from there. Appears to be what they call a commercial play. Very solid. Superb shot. Well, it's, uh, it's as good as it's going to get. There's going to be no worries about making that one. You don't want to let this one get away. This is about concentration and focus at this point. And he has it. A good putt redeems all. Fifth hole here at TPC Sawgrass. Long par four. What's the challenge, Frank? Depending, uh, you really, if you're long or short hitter, the long hitters have the luxury of, of taking it over the corner of the bunker down the right. Shorter hitters really play at that bunker down the left, 320 run out. Long and straight. That's how you do it. Frank, this is the way you draw it up. This is how the game's supposed to be played. Yeah, so far, everything going according to plan. Frank, this is a position where a player is absolutely licking his chops here. Good chance to make a birdie. Yeah, this is when this game just looks like fun. Bunkers don't seem to be in play. The only thing you're really looking at right now is just the flag. This could be a good one. Good, clean contact and a nice result. And a chance for birdie coming up. Now it's that sneaky distance. to amaze yet another birdie, and what a day it's been. Frank, what do you think of the sixth? Pretty short par four. It is, but uh, you come out of that sort of corridor, and fairway opens up, and then it narrows up, bunkers to be around. Very, very few people hit driver here. Good strike, good lie, good chance to attack the pin. Frank, how do you size up the approach shot now at the sixth? Ideally, you'd want to have a good yardage in here, something where you can hit a nice high lofted short iron to make sure that you don't mess with those palm trees. That is a gorgeous shot inside of five feet. Birdie try again here today. Had a nice birdie on this hole yesterday. Just an amazing display. The records continue to fall. Frank, seventh hole here at TPC Sawgrass. How do you break this one down? Not overly long, 440 yards, but uh, once again, it's a tee shot. If you're driving the ball well, that's fine. You just sort of blister it down there, but you're starting to lose one a little bit to the right. There's three pot bunkers there, and of course, if you're fearful of it going left, there's a canal all the way down the left side that'll get your attention. Excellent drive right there, Frank. Circa 310. Strategically, Frank, how do you like to play this hole? You've got to be aware of where you don't want to go. That front right bunker is probably the uh, easiest bunker shot on this hole, but there's a little pop bunker on the left. That one there, always difficult to get it up and down. Oh, 
There's a big green, and they're going to use every inch of it. Oh, just making a mockery of the field now. Another eagle. Here we are at the 8th at Pete Dye's famed stadium course at the TPC Sawgrass. Rich Lerner alongside Frank Navolo. Frank, this is a hole that I really like. And uh, players do too, Rich, especially off that back tee where it must be about 80 yards of shoot that you go through before the uh, hole actually starts to aid, uh, open up. And um, this green, 11 bunkers in total around the whole putting surface. Put a birdie on the card here yesterday, don't forget. Settles in over the putt. And he has it for birdie. Frank, the ninth is really a good par five, isn't it? There's so many options here. Um, just play it away, sort of three wood it down there, then go to the right and sort of wedge it on the green. But uh, it's very tempting, especially in the right wind conditions. And that's if they're coming over your shoulder for a right-hander from right to left. Then this par five is very reachable. He has given this one the full treatment. Perfect release through the ball. And this shot, he is on the fairway over 300 yards. Now the third shot here at the ninth, Frank. Another very narrow green, not that dissimilar to the first hole. There's a high portion on the left and a low portion on the right. That is classy. Yeah, chance of going in. Just five feet left. So the dominant performance continues. Yeah, we're watching two tournaments right now, the one at the top and the rest. Setting up to start the back nine here, and if it's anywhere near as good as the front nine, Frank Hill will be very happy with his score at the end of the day. Yeah, the hardest thing right now is to just keep doing the same thing without focusing on the score. Well, this looks good. Certainly is. That is an unusual golf swing, but those have worked throughout time. Lee Trevino, Ray Floyd, Jim Furyk. They've done all right, haven't they? Well, this one should be safely on deck here. Stuff that one in there just inside of five feet. Well done. Birdie here yesterday, trying to do it again today. He's made it. Now the time to be aggressive. Par five, 558 yard, 11th hole, Frank. What's the key here? See it eye and let it fly. This is the big chance here. This is one of the widest fairways on the golf course. This is where you chance it all. Frank, that swing looks lively and strong. Oh, the, that had to fly 300. Um, it's close to 310. How tough is this going to be now from the rough, Frank? Oh, it's tough to say, Rich. I mean, so much is going to depend on that lie. I'm going to need a little bit of luck. A 
great shot out of the rough. He avoided all the troubles just to get that on the green. That was not an easy shot. He'll settle. This one just requires a little bit of focus. In the hole for birdie. Frank, what's so much fun about TPC Sawgrass is the excitement that it generates for a fan and how many different holes there are. 12 is a good example. Yeah, 12 looks like it's fresh from Scotland. You can see why Pete Dye spent a lot of time over there. Um, tee shot looks straight away, but the second shot is blind. The, the shot you'd get in Scotland with a wedge where you just see the top of the flagstick and you've got to really guesstimate on the yardage that you have. But a good wedge shot and someone that can judge their distance this is certainly a birdie hole. So missed the fairway, and now he's back where he needs to be. Yeah, minimize the problems. Now his third, staring right at the green. This one looks like it's headed right for the middle of the dance floor, Frank. Rather nice shot, I would say. Had a birdie here yesterday in their close. Great opportunity for another one. Good putt. Frank, 17 gets so much attention here at the TPC Sawgrass, but 13 par 3 is exciting in its own right. It is, and it's actually more difficult than 17. Uh, one of the reasons it's longer, um, and also the green here. 17 obviously has two, two sections in it, front and top. This has, uh, I don't think there's a flat piece on it. And every now and again, we watch a ball roll all over the screen and actually find the cup for the odd ace. That would be a great look at birdie. Birdie here yesterday. This putt again for Birdie. Birdie. 14th hole, 481 yard, par four, ranking second in difficulty, Frank. Yeah, this one always gets overlooked, Rich. You've only got to flick the drive a little left, and all of a sudden your round just gets completely wrecked. Ask VJ Singh, cost him the Players' Championship. Many a player there has dealt with that left side. Uh, it, you will pay the price. And now it's right in his wheelhouse, good position where he can attack the pin. Yeah, he has all those options now. With that ball sitting up, you can bring it in high, you can bring it in low. The choice is yours. And this is looking really good. Beautiful shot. That is tight. Unbelievable. That is one to save it for the rest of the round. And he's set now over the putt. 
takes care of business there. Solid strike. Just before we get to what they call the gauntlet, 16, 17, and 18, 15 requires all of your attention, doesn't it, Frank? Personally, I think this is the prettiest hole in the golf course, Rich. I've actually often gone back there and taken pictures. Uh, just a gentle dog leg to the right. Uh, you come out of the chute. Seems to be a generous fairway. You just get a little view of the bunker down the right side, but virtually there's no lip there, so that's not a concern. The green, uh, all sorts of weird and wonderful waves on it, um, well protected by a big bunker on the left, and these two little pot bunkers out on the right that, uh, well, if you're first time around, you might notice. Oh, solid strike right in the heart of the green. Well, that is an exceptional shot on the green and in position for a birdie. Yeah, it's a full melody now. Birdie putt coming up. I caught on this hole yesterday. Frank, you're one behind. Sunday afternoon, you're trying to win one of the game's great championships. Is this a spot that you love as a competitor, the 16th hole of par five, with a chance to make a lot of noise? It's a spot you cannot hide from, Rich, because you know exactly there. If you haven't looked at a scoreboard, you can feel it from the atmosphere. Wow, that is a monster drive down there, about 315 yards. Playing his second shot here at the par five. Oh, no, look out, Frank. I think he flushed that one. Oh, this is, this is going, going, gone. Wow, lucky break right there, Frank. Yeah. That's what everyone else is going to say, except him. Just dominated this hole, and he ends up with an eagle. Frank, how early in the round are you thinking about the shot at 17? Well, when you're playing well, you're pushing it ahead. Maybe you don't think about it till 14 or 15. If you're struggling, you might be thinking it early as the fifth or the sixth hole. But put it this way, when you make the walk from 16 to 17, you are thinking of it every inch of the way. Hazard. Maybe wet. Oh my goodness, Frank. I think that baby went in. People always talk about 17 being visually intimidating. Frank, what about 18? If there's a little bit of wind off the right, the tee shot is so much easier. But if that wind is coming off the, the water, not only do you see the water and the wooden bulkheads, you see all the rough and the trees on the right. And of course, then you start bringing five, six, seven, even eight into play. That's what makes this tee shot so hard. Oh, that was sweet. Straight down the middle. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is a green light special. This one's looking good. Oh, can't hide the flag stick from that man. To win the Web.com Tour Championship. Just an amazing display. The records continue to fall. Rich, it came down to just a shot or two here or there, but uh, we were treated to some amazing golf this week. Just one player standing, and that was earned, well-deserved, beautifully played.